waren es bei dir. Zählen Hinrichtungen auf. Na klar. Dann ab. Ich war.
not take it down to the surface. Navigationssysteme beschädigt. Nicht, nicht, nicht. Notfallausruf eingeleitet. Landung in T-3. 2, 1.
was a howling hellscape. That view was prettier than a pie supper.
population. Shitload of assholes. You got my Odin codes, assholes. Population zero. All right, now I gotta somehow get to that main terminal and bring home the Odin codes for the Ausmerzer mission. Make it this long. 
Well, here's to Brother Blastowitz, the toughest motherfucker I ever met. Terrible! That's some hot damn good banana cream pie right Max there. Max made! Make some! <laughs> oh. Now, here's some wicked love. I'm gonna tear a hole in poor old Orton's tummy. <laughs> Boys! <laughs> so, how was Venus? Did you bring me back anything? Well, the uh, souvenir shop was closed, but I brought you this. Holy shit, Blaskowitz. Well, I absolutely must tell you about the silver fish. It's definitely true. It's a very small fish. Seagram! Yes, Paul Quicks! Listen, I'm gonna need your Nazi eyeballs on this one. I am not a Nazi. Whatever. Look, I'm trusting you to decrypt the Odin codes so we can disable the defense system and hijack the outsmarts. Yes, poor Chris. But please stop calling me a Nazi. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt your Nazi feelings? Suck it up, princess. You still here? <laughs> Where y'all at? <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? God damn it. Oh shit, now it's on. Comrades! Brothers and sisters, thank you very much. Tomorrow we are gonna shoot Nazis until we run out of bullets. But tonight, tonight is for Blast is still drunk, and we're supposed to be in the air by now. Can he fly in this condition? Well, he sure can't fucking fly with one arm. Okay, Horton, Anya, get him some coffee or something to sober him up. And Blaskowitz, find Fergus's fucking arm before this whole operation turns into a shit show? God damn. Hey. Fergus? Fergus. Fergus. Hey, wake Can up. you hear me? Hey. Fergus, it's Anya. Blast. 
let me see it. Uh, when I speak to Fergus at party, both arms were attached to shoulders. Captain, let me lay something. You know that Nazi bunker in Manhattan? Pigs use it as the base of operations. Well, we intercepted a transmission detailing all of the combat equipment they got stashed up in there. Get this. On the list is a fully operational constrictor harness. Bonjour, chef. Check out the brief. And a contributor. Man. Looking for Ferguson's arm, mister? Sorry to disappoint you, but I was kind of too busy getting wasted to pay attention. You said chili pepper, right? Uh huh, two teaspoons. Miss Fergus, why you always gotta be losing your arm? Nein, Herr Blaskovich, I know not where this arm is you seek. Haven't seen Fergus's arm, guy. Just looking. Looking for Fergus Arm? I heard he had some call with that beautiful French Madame, Maria. Ah, the voice. He says the arm of Bacchus is angry. Dangerous. Terrible. All aboard, man. Alors, I have no information about the Fergus's arm. No, Signore. I see Fergus talk to Maria. She became very angry. I know nothing more. Sei gegrüßt. Full steam ahead, Not seen the arm of Fergus, brother. I was too busy drinking. I heard you were looking for Fergus's arm. Sorry, buddy. Ain't seen again. Fergus's arm. Little captain, I need some help. Kitos, Captain Blaskovic. Stay on the platform. told me to organize the storage bay by the moon pool. It's been in shambles since the Ausmerzer attack. But although Fitum entrances are blocked by debris, you can't even get in there. Come with me and clear the entrances. I really don't want to let the race down. This whole day has been from us. I know you have extra sisu from your ramshackles contraption, so hopefully you can find a way to ram through the debris.
on our Captain Blaskovici. Now I just have to figure out how to get this place organized. Thank you. Thank you for your help, Captain. I wonder if Craze will let me build a sauna in here. Things be the terror. Oh, Shimshin. Uh, Paris Jack told me there was a problem with Fergus's arm. I, I had no chance to talk to Fergus about it yet. Fergus's arm is g g g gone? It's a light, all right, Dick. I was doing inventory in the ammo depot when this gigantic asshole of a rat jumped straight at me like he got rabies or some shit. Biggest rat I ever seen in my life. Big as a dog. If I had been so lucky that a box fell on top of me, I'm not sure what would have happened. See, I'm speaking with Billy. Talk to Paris Jack in the canteen. Hello, Captain Blaskowitz. Didn't even know Van's uncle's up and go missing. Hey, Terry Billy. Good to see your face. Hey, Paris Jack. So. I'm looking for Fergus's arm. You seen that thing? You know, I did see Fergus late last night. Uh, see the loss over there? For Christ, man, don't look. Yeah, I was meaning to give her this rose, and uh, I wanted to say something romantic here, uh, romantic, right? No, oh, on occasion. Right. Nothing sleazy, uh, she's a good lass, and I want her to know I'm an honorable man. So, how's this? Maria, ever since I saw you, I've been wanting to do this. And then, I handed the rose, and I say, this rose is a symbol of my good intention. I hope you'll consider going out with me. If it's honest, and from the heart, it's all that matters. I don't want to fuck this up. Let me play something to set the mood. <laughs> oh, <Jesus. clears throat> Maria, ever since I saw you, I've been wanting to do this. Another year, you stupid fucking arm! I will teach you some manners! So you saw him storm off toward the hangar? Mm-hmm. Don't think I've ever seen a man that angry. Look for the arm in the hangar. That's where Fergus went. 
All right. Fergus was last seen heading for the hangar fuel depot. Maybe he left his arm there. Ever feel like ever since? Ugh! This god off the book can crawl away and die somewhere for all I care. I have one major pet peeve, Max, and bad metaphors in literature. Have a listen to this. I've never been much of a lady. I might as well just tell you. Oh, well. Yes. I had a bit of a romantic encounter with your... Okay, Arm. Where are you hiding? How do you do, Terra Billy? So, you were a teacher? History teacher. The old Scott yeah. lost his arm. Well, sorry, I can't do it. You found it? Huh! Give it back to Ferguson Club Chrysal. Hey, man, got a moment? Oh, so he found her Ferguson's arm. Ferguson's arm? Heavy. I'm Santa, bro. Commander Ferguson's arm? I know he had one. Makes no sense, Shoshana. I mean, what sense does it make to have a key without the lock, huh? Fergus. Don't ring a bell. Can't you ask him around about Fergus? That idiot was acting like a fucking fool. Ahoy, Della. go. Old Horton's patented hangover blaster always delivers. Boom. What are you lot loitering around for, huh? Haven't we got a mission briefing to attend? The party's over. My brothers and sisters. My brothers and sisters. Check this out. 
In less than six hours, Frau Engel is going to make a scheduled appearance on the Jimmy Carver Show, live from Hollywood, California. Now, while that bitch is getting her ass kissed on national television, we're going to infiltrate the Ouse Mercer, disable the Odin defense system, and hijack her ship. And then we find that bitch, and we take her out. What you got? Frau Goyes, I decrypted the Odin codes Herr Bleskovich brought back from Venus. Turns out, it's just one simple word. Valhalla. Type in Valhalla in any of the Odin terminals, and you will have permission to shut down the automated defense systems. Well, all right. Now, fuck off, Nazi. Like I was saying, we are going to find that bitch, and we are going to take her Please. out. What? Don't ever call me a Nazi again. I am not a Nazi. You do oh. not have the right to label me as something I am not, as someone less than yourself, as someone less than human. Say it! Say I'm not a Nazi! All oh, right. Okay, I get it. You're not a Nazi. And you... I'm in love with you. Don't you understand that you... Idiot! And it hurts. It hurts that you are so stupid you don't love me back. But I will dry the tears from my eyes. Get over it and move on. Because I don't need you to be happy. I would just be mentally using your body from time to time for my own personal pleasure. And there's nothing you can do about that. Sigrun. But I'm leaving, okay? No, way. Don't be silly. Oh, you coming with us. Sake. You're the expert here. Lay it out for us. We have to approach fast and low. That will buy us time before we are detected by Odin's radar. Once we are directly below the Outsmerzer, we must ascend rapidly and vertically. This will give us the greatest chance of surviving Odin's opening salvo. If we are lucky, we make it back out before Odin has a missile lock on us. 